I know we talk a lot about imposter syndrome on this show, and you actually want to encourage women not to put themselves under that label. Uh, why is that? Yeah, that's exactly right. I am just not a fan of this term because it implies that you have, if you have self-doubt, there's something wrong with you. You have a syndrome. And the fact is that everybody feels some self-doubt, even the most polished, put together person. And if you don't, you're either incredibly unusual or you aren't pushing yourself and doing new hard things. And that's really the heart of the growth mindset where you're always looking to take on new challenges and learn. And if you only go after the problems you know you can solve, you're limiting yourself. So if you feel some self-doubt, that's good because it means you're learning and growing and that's really great and healthy. Uh, what advice do you have besides getting rid of that self-doubt, at least in terms of calling yourself a, an imposter, but well, what other advice do you have for women who are looking to advance their careers? Yeah, so one piece of advice I give people is don't ask, don't get. So figure out what it is that you want and tell people. Tell people about the experience you're looking to get, the direction you want to take your career, and work hard toward that. And when you ask, you won't always get it. But if you don't ask, you definitely won't get it. It's like the classic, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So second uh, piece of advice I often give people is just, just get over your fear of no. In your career, no only means no for now. So most successful people have been rejected an uncountable number of times and they don't let it stop them. Uh, third piece of advice is just create your own destiny, be your own mentor. Really listen to yourself and um, uh, tap into your own inner voice versus uh, waiting for uh, a mentor to kind of swoop you up and take you along the way. Meet lots of great people and then trust yourself. I think that's all such great advice. And, and particularly we talk about on the show a lot that don't ask, don't get. When it comes to salaries that women sometimes feel nervous to ask for better pay and just kind of accept whatever they're gonna get. Uh, unfortunately though, we are out of time. Karen Peacock, CEO of Intercom. So great to have you on today, really appreciate it.